Lineups on the screen, all about here in Dortmund, Germany. This once again is the Liebherr 2012 World Team Table Tennis Championships. Table tennis of the highest order here in Dortmund, Germany. Yes. I welcome you to the quarterfinals of the women's division. It's the second quarterfinals for the women's tonight. And we'll see on screen how those two teams competing for that sought out spot in the semi finals tomorrow, which will obviously guarantee a bronze medal already. This is the reigning world champion team. Singapore on the left. And they're facing the host nation here. The Westfalenhalle Dortmund, no doubt. Surprise. Supported by the audience in the Westfalenhalle that just keeps growing from day to day here. Huge support in Germany for their own team. This crucial match, everything on the line. They have left the group stages, obviously. No room for tactics, no room for lineup practice. This is it. Everything on the line. Go home or advance. Singapore, a team that is now being introduced by the MC, has had the pleasure of a day off yesterday. Such is the reward when you face the first place in the group stage. Didn't drop a match, went through with dominance right to the quarterfinals. Not the same for Germany though. After losing 3-0 to Japan, they won the rest of their games. 3-1 against Poland, 3-2 against Spain, and 3-2 again against Serbia. A decisive 3-0 against France brought them a second place in the group. Advanced to the round of 16, the playoffs, so to speak, for this quarterfinal spot, which in turn they won against the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea. Three games to one was the score. Germans overall with a young team playing here in Dortmund. Three still relatively young players have so far been competing for the sort third spot in the lineup. You can see those there right on the left. It's Christine Silbereisen, Sabine Winter and Chen Bartel. The answer, which one of them will be playing today, is Christine Silbereisen in the lineup. Other two players already well established in the German team. Ujado 
and Irene Ivanchan in the lineup for Singapore. Who, and I need to correct myself, dropped one game against the Netherlands. The others, though, in the group stage, 3 0 decisive wins against Chinese Taipei, Turkey, People's Republic of Korea, and Sweden. Well, in the lineup, we have Feng Tianwei, Wang Yugo, and Li Jiawei. Best lineup for both teams here. High fives all around as the match is being set up. Umpires now checking the box for debris, checking the table for debris. Settling in. Under the watchful eyes of the spectators here in Dortmund, no doubt. We've seen a great tournament. Many high-level table tennis games so far. As the way it goes round here in the Westfalen Halle. Venue with huge history as far as German table tennis is concerned. 1989 was the date when Jörg Moskow and Steffen Fetzner won the world title in the doubles. That very same tournament saw the Swedish national team in the men's beat China 5-0. History for the, for the Swedish team here as well. The likes of Werner Schlager, excuse me, Jano Bevato, of course. And Jürgen Persson, who we've seen earlier, competing against Germany's men's team. Still a good player, put up a good fight too. On the winning team today, tomorrow in the semi finals. Need to compete against Korea Republic, who won a nail biting quarterfinals earlier today against Japan, turning it around after being 2 0 down. Managed to pull a 3 2 win. Third place already guaranteed for Korea Republic. And for one of these two teams here today, will it be Singapore or Germany? Is the question. First part. To bring the answer from one of these two players we have here in the picture, Feng Tianwei. 25 years old she is, ranked at five in the world ranking. 2010, she was number two in the world. Crucial part of the Singaporean team as well. She won the Finals match against China 2010 in Moscow. And what a game that was. Singaporean bench here in the picture. No doubt will be trying anything to lift the spirits of Feng Tianwei. Played in the Olympic Games 2008, women's singles quarterfinals. On the silver medal with the team. World Championships in the singles 2009, 2011, both times ended up in the quarterfinals. On the 2010 singles competition in the Commonwealth Games. Good results for her. For Germany, it's going to be Irene Ivanchan. Had a huge comeback last year. She played the first European Championships in years. Ended up in the finals, though she lost there. No doubt a good success for her. Runner-up, as I said, European Championships 2011. World ranking at 49. Used to be as high as 42 just last year. 28 years old she is. 
we're going to be seeing offense versus defense in this game. Irene Ivanchan utilizing a pimples rubber on her backhand. Where she looks to chop, top spins back far from the table. Highly entertaining to watch. Very successful so far. But she'll be facing a difficult task in form of Feng Tianwei. Who is, as far as favorites go, at least as far as the statistics go, of course, the favorite in this match. First game about to begin now. We'll see who gets the rhythm faster, finds the way into the game. Will it be Irene Ivanchan of Germany or the serving Feng Tianwei of Singapore? Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you the quarterfinals of the singles team competition in the women's division. indicative of how the match will develop. g -Shep. just took over for Jörg Witzigayo, plays the head coach of the women's team in Germany. On the other side of the box sits Ju Shuzen for Singapore. I've seen lucky edge ball from Irene Ivanchan this time. Feng Tian Wei double whammo. Touched the edge of the net as well as the edge of the table. Maybe three top spins into the body of Irene Ivanchan and then at that crucial moment look for the wide angle on the open side. Textbook play against defense as well. Five, three, four. This time already successful with that top spin just a tad slower but Put that much more topspin on the ball. Very hard to control for the chopping player. <laughs> Looking concerned. Irene Ivanchan came off to a pretty good start, but more and more Feng Tianwei seems to establish herself. Yeah. That was an important point for her. Herself in the game. And then Ivan Chan. Yeah! That shot with so much backspin on it, barely bounced on the table. Fang Chen Wei not being able to control it. See here, beautiful chop. Needed to lift it over the net unsuccessfully so far. Five. Five. Just a little too short, not on top of her footwork yet. Within Ivan Chan looking to play the backhand chop even from the forehand side, has yet to show us her trademark forehand topspin. Good job, Irene 
Bachan. Working hard for that point. Now it's six all in the first. Variations she's been trying throughout the game have worked out great so far. to the side when she's stopping right here. Difficult to control. Fang Tianwei probably misjudged it a bit. And just like that, it is 8-6 now for the serving German player. Eight, six. Yeah! And there was a good return from Fang Tianwei. To have caught Irene Ivanchan a bit by surprise. She managed to lift it back. Probably a lack of concentration so far. Fang Tianwei not in the game as of yet. <coughs> Seven nine still the lead for Irene Ivanchan. Being supported by the crowd here in Dortmund, Germany. Out the spectators want the German team to proceed. Yeah! We'll have to see about that. So far, so good. Three game points in the first. But Fang Tianwei has to save. Risky shot she played there. And then Ivan Chan attempted to lift the top spin from Fong Tianwei back. Difficult to execute. Not the wrong decision at that point. Maybe a tad too risky. But then again, you can't let players like Fong Tianwei get back in the game. to Germany in the match. It's 11 8, confirmation on screen. A little bit work ahead of Ju Shuzen. During the course of this tournament, I've talked about this with a lot of people, how important confidence in this sport is, especially at such a large event here. You need to play positively, keep your body language positive, keep playing confidently. Time. In these tight situations, you still need to be creative. That's also a part of being a professional table tennis player how you handle the pressure. Pressure is certainly on Fang Tianwei now. Down one game in the opening match. Let's see if she, come back. she can come back here. Second game, Germany to serve. Love all. Timing on the receive. 
still Fangting Wei seems to have huge problems controlling the serve of Irene Ivanchan. That just must not happen. So this mistake rarely seen in professional table tennis. service and return, but also during the longer rallies. She seems to have things under control so far. Say, I am really impressed of how Irene Ivanchan handles the pressure here in this quarterfinals match. Yeah! Because right now she's bringing everything back to the table, and Fang Tianwei does not seem to have an answer to what Ivanchan throws at her so far. It's 4 1 in the second. Tianwei needs to step it up right now. She's certainly trying. Seems to be the more active player doing that rally. More active than in the first game for sure. Fang Tianwei now moving better from left to right. Changing the spin, changing the pace. Obviously one step and getting more and more into this match. Push here, didn't want to establish a rally. Warning issued from the umpire, reminding Irene Ivanchan to throw the ball up straight. And there's a fault serve in turn. Much to the dislike of the crowd here. We've seen this a couple of times so far in this tournament. After the warning, directly the fault serve. And that is obviously very difficult for any player to deal with. To get deducted a point. And all of a sudden you start thinking, what did I do wrong? How do I do it right the next time? Especially on the serve, which is normally just something you do, you don't really think about. experience of the 28 year old German seems to pay off. She's dealt with it quite well. At least judging from her body language. Fang Tianwei though, up by that one crucial point. Make that two now. Consistency is a huge topic in the German women's national team. We've seen Zabina Winter play before yesterday struggling with that as well. When she was deducted a point, she in turn lost the whole match.
technique on the forehand topspin. She was a little slow though, switching to the backhand side. Hong Tian Wei playing this quite patiently though. I must say, I really like it. Not going for the risk shot. She's just playing the rally out to the end, waiting for her opportunity. Like I say, not go for the risky shot. This time she does it right away. Still did not manage to separate herself so far from her opponent. It is 8-7. Pretty contested match in the second game it is. Once again, Irene Ivanchan going for that long push. She's really looking for the opening topspin of Hong Tian Wei to start chopping. She needs to find another way for that to happen. Service variation once more. How many tricks can she pick? still pull out of her head? Irene Ivanchan. So far, it all worked out pretty well. Inevitably, though, Feng Tianwei will adjust to that. Yeah! That's nine all of a sudden. See how she pulled her racket up just a little after the touch. It was not backspin, it was topspin indeed on the serve of Irene Vanshan. Players are allowed to take a towel break every six points. Feng Tianwei staying at the table, choosing not to. And indeed, we have a timeout. Called by Ju Chuzen of Singapore. Timeout in this instance used to break the momentum. Of course, probably overthinking the next point for the opponent. Breaking the concentration as well, breaking the game flow, if you will. We see that topspin serve here. Feng Tianwei thought it was backspin, tried to lift it. point in this match for sure. Both players back at the table, ball in play as well. That is Feng Tianwei to serve. Crucial game of Germany versus Singapore.
chop had a good length on it as well. It was just floating, not that much. Backspin, almost no spin. And to my surprise, number five in the world ranking still has problems reading the spin correctly. Didn't expect her to adjust to this much earlier, but she pretty much has to now. She's faced with a 2 0 lead of her opponent serving in the third. She took that one right off the bounce. and she somehow manages to put that all behind her to ignore what might be and how good her opponent might play. She just focuses on what she can do best. Doing a great job yeah. so far. Once more, side spin variation this time. No top spin on the ball. Two all. in a row, Feng Tung Wei. This game very important, obviously. If Yang Yuan Chan wins it, it's all over, but she must not let Feng Tung Wei get into the rhythm. She needs to be creative, needs to try different things. Also needs to find her luck in the longer rallies. Okay, three probably be a good point for a timeout. Though it seems that G Shop still has confidence in her player. Will you look at that serve? So much spin on the ball. on the far side, goes off the table. on the foreign topspin so far by Yvonne Ivanchando. Seems that she was a little slow here. Missed the timing just by a fraction. Right there when she needs to be. That was a 
good reaction. Going for the top spin this time instead of chopping. All the building blocks are there for Irene Ivanchan. who is disappointed with her game, for sure. A long smile on her face tells the story. Oh, yeah! That was a good setup. Planned beforehand that she was going for once more. This serve with no backspin, stepped around right in time. Third ball attack into the body, textbook play. Irene Ivanchan. to win. Germany looking to put the team in the lead. 